Hey there. So last week I did a, is it still worth it video for my American Express Platinum card. And if you watch that video, which I hope you do, you see that it seems to be still be worth it quite a, doing quite well, actually, as far as a, a value proposition goes. Uh, American Express, if you're watching, you want to waive the fee. That's cool too, though. So it's not the only American Express card I have. I also have, uh, well, I also have a gold card, but that's kind of a no-brainer because you can just rack up points with that. But I also have a Delta Sky Miles card, specifically the Delta Reserve. Uh, that is another hefty, not quite as hefty as a Platinum, but still a hefty annual fee at $550. So this is, you know, the time of year I go through and said, is this still worth it? So I kind of did the still worth it activities for this one as well. Uh, this one's a little trickier, to be honest. So um, it comes in two flavors, and I'll show you pictures of that here. Okay, as I mentioned, there are two flavors of this card. There's the classic purple one, which is fine, but then there's the ultimate most coolest card ever, and that's the black one on the right. And as you can see, um, one is most definitely totally much cooler than the other one, and that is, of course, the one I had to grab, which is the one with the 747. And this card is made from actual metal from the 747. It's got the stats on it, it's just awesome. If you're a card geek and a flight geek, it's an, the most awesome card. I had to get it just for that, to be honest. Now, the other big sell for this card is the companion fare. You don't get that the first year. You've got to renew. But uh, since I'm frequently flying with my wife, uh, that's really handy. That That is a big perk on that card that you can fly your companion in uh, any of the cabins. U.S. domestic for uh, mostly free. You've got to pay the taxes. So that's why I'm keeping it. But let's look at some of the other benefits and see how it compares to the Platinum card. As I mentioned, part of my analysis is kind of comparing it to other Sky Miles cards. Now, there's a Platinum, there's a Gold, and there's the uh, Reserve. I have the Reserve. The Platinum, I'm sorry, the Gold didn't excite me because it doesn't have the MQD match, uh, only the Platinum does, and the Reserve. So I thought I would just compare the Platinum and the Reserve. So as you can see, just for points for purchasing things, the Platinum actually is better. You know, 3X miles on Delta flights and vacations, the same as the Reserve, but you also get hotel and dining uh, double and triple credits there, and of course, 1X on everything else. The Big item that I like about this card is the MQD waiver or the Medallion Qualifying Dollar Waiver. So what this means is if you spend $25,000 on your card, your requirements for the levels for silver, gold, and platinum medallion are waived. If you spend $250,000, they waive diamond as well. Uh, good luck with that. So you don't get the Century Lounge with the platinum, but if you're Pairing this with your Delta Platinum card, I'm sorry, your American Express Platinum card, who cares? You already have that. You still get uh, Delta Lounge access. Of course, if you are pairing with your Platinum card, you don't need that either. Concierge service, again, if you're pairing, you don't need it. So the Platinum card actually comes out fairly favorably here. You still get the check bags. You get a Delta Companion card, which is or sorry, a Delta Companion Certificate, which is basically the big deal of how you can pay for this. And I th I'll talk more about that later. It, that's only for main cabin. You get uh, Delta Comfort Plus and, and First Class on the Sky Miles Reserve. So they're very comparable cards, $250, $550, $300. You've got to ask yourself, is that $300 uh, worth it? And that's something you'll have to ask yourself. I've already made that decision, and uh, I'll share more about that later. But here's how the two cards basically compare. There's a whole bunch of detail here. These are the, the top items I thought were worth mentioning. So as you can see, those are fairly favorable cards as far as how they compare. Uh, there's obviously more benefits with the more expensive card. Now, the big perks that I see on, the, on both cards with, of course, the reserve having more of those perks is a companion certificate. Having Comfort Plus and the first 
class cabin on the domestic flight is makes the whole thing worth it to me. The other big item on this is the uh, medallion qualifying dollar waiver. I can get the miles in pretty easy flying to meet those uh, the medallion qualifying miles requirements, but the dollar spend is uh, difficult for me. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I can find plenty of ways to spend it, but if I can spend money on just day-to-day -day things and waive the qualifying dollars, all the better. And you get to do that with both of them. And 25000 on a credit card over a year, that's not particularly difficult to do. Um, so that's what I do. The other thing that I really like is a status boost. And again, the reserve is a little bit better. You get a, a little bigger status boost out of it where if you spend, I think it's $30,000, you get uh, so many more medallion qualifying miles. So if you're on the edge of, you know, whether or not you're going to make gold or platinum, and you've already racked up 25,000 for the uh, qualifying dollar uh, match, then yeah, spend a, you know, a little bit more and get uh, boost that mileage account a little bit and uh, pop up another level. So that's what I use them for. So I've decided I'm going to keep the reserve for now. If I do not use the companion certificate, I'm going to rethink it next year. Um, I think I've got a fair chance of using it this year. If I do, it's a no-brainer. Uh, you, you blow away the, the cost of that card quick with a companion certificate, especially if you're doing first class. Uh, so I'll reevaluate next year. I'll let you know what happens there, but I'm going to keep it. I hope you find this interesting. If you do, click subscribe and um, have a good weekend. Bye.